started. We appreciate you coming down to help. All right, Swimming World TV coming to you from Morgan Hill, California, site of the 2011 Short Course Far Western Championships. I'm Garrett McCaffrey, joined by Tiffany Elias, and we'll be bringing you all of these final sessions Thursday through Sunday. Those are going to be both live and on demand. And to kick it off with night number one, we've already had some pretty exciting swims take place this morning in prelims, Tiff. If you could kind of run down that list of some record-setting swims already here on day number one. Well, we're going to see a lot of events here in day one, and we've already seen records broken in the prelim session and a couple more people knocking on those doors tonight. We're going to be jumping around in those events a little bit, starting off with the 200 freestyle for all age groups, right into the 200 breaststroke for the upper kids, into the 100 butterfly, two backstroke, Stroke, back to the two breaststroke for the younger half, into some 50 breasts, 50 back, and then we're going to close up with that 400 medley relays. But I think we need to talk about the records that went down this morning and possibly more to come tonight. Justin Lynch, the 14-year-old, getting it done in that 100 butterfly, a 50 point from a 14-year-old. That's a 13-14 PNS record, uh, far western record as well. Sorry, not PNS, but a... Uh, a, far uh, a Pacific swimming record as well, I believe. The current, the previous Far Western cut was a 52, so he crushed it. And I think it's important to note that he was a 50.0, so he's going to be right on. He might even go under 50 tonight. Under 50 point for a 14-year-old would be pretty darn amazing. We've also got some superstars, some bona fide superstars like Catherine Breed, who you said was also one of the record breakers in the mm -hmm. 200 backstroke this morning. 200 backstroke, she was the only female to go under the two-minute mark, so she was a 159 this morning, also busting under that record in another great swim. I mean, it's always difficult to get under two minutes in any event, so she did that in the prelim swim, which is pretty awesome. It's just a big-time meet. Those of you guys who have been in club swimming for a long time have definitely heard of Far Westerns, and it's been around for a very very long time before this final session started we interviewed Pablo Morales who was one of the competitors at this uh, Far Western Championship from the time he was 10 years old uh, he went on to win Olympic gold in 1992 so just some of the the many Olympians who have made their mark here on Far Westerns is one of those steps towards their Olympic glory so we've been here since this morning and uh, before we get started with some of the live action that's about nine minutes away, we want to show you guys a video we put together from this morning's prelims to kind of give you a feel of what 1,600 swimmers, over 170 teams, and 6,000 swims feels like. Test, test, one, two, three, test, test, one, two, three, test, one, two, three, test. 